I'm making a jam jar jet engine for my academic fair project. I'm going to tell you how to make it. First, you, you drill holes into a pipe segment, four holes, and put six inches of a six inch wire into it, four six inch wires, and put it on top of the jar, you screw the lid on, then you're ready to go. But just to tell you, the, the pipe segment is optional. We drill the quarter inch hole on top of the lid, and the pipe segment is directly under the hole, about a half inch. Now I'm going to put it in the freezer. The reason why I put it in the freezer is because when you put the fuel in it and light it, it might shatter. And you don't want that to happen. We used the STP Octane Booster, which is made with jet fuel, but that didn't work. The better thing to use is the, the Maxi's Nitro Fuel, which is made with nitro and methane gas. Obviously, this is very dangerous. Don't do it without your parents around. Also, you, you need safety glasses. Also, it's better to do it in the dark so you can see the blue flame coming out of the jar. A jam jar jet is a kind of pulse jet. A pulse jet is different than a turbine jet that you see on airplanes. A turbine jet has a blades to compress the air. In a pulse jet, the, the compression happens when the gas is burning within an enclosed glass jar. M more compression makes the, the engine burn more efficient. That's why I don't see pulse jets on airplanes. All right, I'm not letting Jeremiah do this part of the experiment. Please? And we're in the dark. Can you see me at least a little bit? Okay, we got the refrigerated jar and a pan of water to keep it cool. I filled the bottom about a quarter inch with the nitro fuel and I've got a torch burning. It's better to keep your hand far away from this thing when you light it. Now I'm going to shake it to get some air in the fuel. and I'm going to put it in a pan of cold water. The glass is probably going to crack anyway, but at least it'll crack slower when we do it this way. Now we're going to try it with the diffuser and see if it works. It didn't work before. You ready? Three, two, one, go! Nothing. Nothing yet. There it goes. There it goes. There's our pulse jet. It's very short, but it works. There it goes again. The jar keeps filling up with smoke, and that chokes the fire. But once the smoke goes away, you can light it again. Like that, see? Now the glass is probably going to crack. Now it's working really, really well. Oh, oh there goes the glass. Anyway, that's how a pulse jet works. That was pretty cool. That's the end of our experiment, and I'm out of gas. Obviously, this is very dangerous. And you need parent. Please have. Obviously, this is da very dangerous. Please make sure that you remind your parents to go. And then.